Here we go. Hi there, Richard at Yesterday's Machinery, back again. This is my latest purchase, together with that old Volvo VM loader. Um, it's a 225 model, bought them quite cheap. Uh, not a dream deal, but very okay, and not far from home, just a couple of minutes that way. Uh, I've already worked on the loader, so that one runs. Very good now, very pleased. Uh, it's a very strong machine, I can lift 3.6 tons with it, so that's quite uh, useful here with the hot bulb engines, tractors and everything, and some dirt as well, and logs for the sawmill. Uh, but this one is a CMAR 2 wheel tractor, uh, I think I'm gonna walk you around instead. I think overall the machine looks very good. 2 wheel tractor, CMAR. Made in the late 1940s. I don't really know how much horsepower it puts out, but I think the engine is stuck. I couldn't turn the flywheel by hand anyway. Uh, I don't want to put too much force on it before I can check what's, what the problem is, why it ain't turning. Spark plug. <coughs> it is a Weepak Magneto. I think I have some spare parts for those, or even a working unit, so I'm gonna see if we have any spark. Yeah, but I ain't gonna talk too much. Let's just get to it, tear it apart, try to start it. So this hub here has some interesting functions. Here is a spring-loaded arm, so the hub can turn one way. Here you can lock the hub up completely, so you have drive at both directions. Here you have, I don't really know what it's for, it can be like it is right now, or you can push it in, and to get it out again, you have to push that in, then drag it out. But I don't really know the function. We have to find out later when we get the machine going. Okay, so just like that, the machine already looks better, I think, with the steel rims and that ugly bracket removed. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, remove this fan cover so we can see the cylinder. Maybe remove the cylinder head and check why the engine is stuck. I think I can at least start the machine and see if it runs with this gearbox oil in it. So yeah, that looks fine. Doesn't help us with a stuck engine, but anyway. Copper gasket will be reusable. Looks worse than it is, I think. I don't think it is too deep. I'm gonna clean out well, but I'm gonna remove the cylinder anyway, so let's go ahead.
This has been standing in a lot of water for a long, long time. The engine actually freed up when I was hitting the flywheel pillar. I couldn't get the flywheel off, but the engine spins. This should be a good time to put some paper or something in a crankcase, so tiny parts like this doesn't fall down. You can save yourself quite a lot of work. Flywheel looks good, all in one piece, um, but the threads here on the crank doesn't look good at all. I could remove the crank, put it in the lathe, uh, turn new threads on it, but I think I'm gonna chop it off and weld new threads on it. I've done that uh, many times before, it turned out great, so. Turned out great, I think. I have done this a couple of times before, and it has always been working just fine. And uh, this turned out even better than I thought, so yeah, this will work just fine. Piston ready to go, all rings are loose, piston pins cleaned up, turned out actually better than I thought, so I'm very happy with this, so let's mount it. I did a quick clean up with uh, a steel wire and some sandpaper in a drill machine. Um, I find that method actually quite good on surface rust like this, just 30 seconds, then everything is gone. What you can see here is you can't feel it with your fingers and uh, there is no rust left whatsoever so I think this will work just fine actually. Very good, so I'm gonna make a gasket for it now and then we're gonna mount the cylinder and piston.
if we have any spark on this thing. Okay. Nope, I don't think so. Check the points first. Yes. Whoa, I can turn this engine over real slow. And it is great. A good healthy spark. Just at this low RPM. Hmm, quite hard. Well, I have a new one. I'm gonna replace it anyway. Looks decent. See if we have any fuel at all. Oh yes, here it comes. A couple of drops. Hide this away. Try to lift this on fire. Nope. Don't think we're gonna start the machine on this. I don't want water straight into the car. And this smells a little bit of petrol, but gonna drain it out.
looks clean. This one as well. Should be oil in here though, but it looks clean. Very good. I'm just gonna fill up with a little bit of oil. I'm gonna fit this muffler, it ain't original, I'm gonna remove it later and make a original piece which is a steel pipe about this long with just a fishtail in the end, so no muffler really, but the original, and I wanna keep it original, but I have to fit this I think, the kids are sleeping inside the house, so I think it's best, ugly, but hopefully makes it a little bit quieter. Oh. slowly at first so I am very certain about that it ain't any gears I don't want this to drive out from my workshop if it starts and maybe this is good to find the engine as well so. but compression won't be a problem. Uh, no, I don't think it's in a gear in. It shouldn't be. And it doesn't seem to be. Let's give it a try. Maybe a little bit of trouble as well. Like that maybe? Don't know. Try and carb a little bit again. I'm gonna make a good, strong. I think I'm gonna leave it like that. That should be Just gonna check so if the camera actually is on. Yep, it is. Okay. Here we go. stopped too low idle but hi <laughs> that thing works everything works I haven't checked the PTO function yet I think that's what uh, this lever does on and off and this machine doesn't have any clutch uh, just pull the handles and uh, it moves so slowly that you doesn't really need a clutch So here you can see the PTO shaft inside here. I was a little bit nervous at first because it was so much oil, but that's normal because you can see straight into the rear axle. So that should be in a oil bath. So that's all right. That's a good thing. And it is a lot of oil. So let's mount the rototiller shaft.
So this part, uh, the wheels, you can say, is homemade. You can see quite bad wheels, and... but it should work. It doesn't look pretty, but uh, this is original and the shaft is original. So uh, nothing is destroyed. Uh, original, I think it should be more like spring-loaded arms. Uh, this is just stuck welded, but uh, I think it's gonna work. So, first start of day two. I'm gonna start this. We're gonna see if it works. manual actually came with the machine um, <clears throat> about the gears uh, 56 this machine has two speeds uh, in the wheel hub there is a bolt and that bolt can be shifted to the other side and then you achieve a lower gear so it has two speeds what but you have to change place on two bolts in the wheel hubs and then you should have a, uh, a lower gear so try it low speeds is when the bolt is all the way in in the left wheel hub So I think we really had to stop the video here because it is long already as it is. But I'm really happy with how the machine turned out. Everything seems to work just fine. Uh, starts very easy, engine runs very smooth. Lots of power, I think. Uh, runs good. Uh, the only little problem I can hear is that the main bearings... There is a little, little noise from the main bearings. There is. Uh, it's ball bearing. 
and you can hear it when you turn the engine slowly by hand also a little noise but I don't think it's that bad I can use the machine a little bit I'm gonna change the transmission oil as well but I'll keep an eye on those main bearings while I'm working with it so it doesn't get worse so uh, yeah and as always if you want to help my channel out please subscribe to it and like this video if you find it interesting of course and have a nice day thanks for watching see you next time what a time to be alive when your gas in your fuel tank is more expensive than the wine in the bottles brought up from the Titanic wreck. I think Sweden now has the most expensive yeah, gas and diesel yeah, in the world. Quite interesting. Yeah, you want to watch? Mm, you can smell it. No, 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 no. <laughs> Yep. So I really enjoy doing projects like this, smaller ones because uh, the kids can join, and uh, that's quite fun. And I think they appreciate it too. Or sometimes, like welding, grinding, have to send them out, play with sticks for a couple of minutes or so. Then they can come back and join me, and I think they appreciate it more than being inside and look at the kids' program on YouTube all day. So uh, I think they're gonna turn out to real engine mechanics, both of them. I hope. Uh, so yeah. Again, see you next time.